RHONJ Melissa and Joe Gorga start business with Teresa's enemy feud between Real Housewives star Teresa Gudis and Joe and Melissa Gorga just got a little less likely to resolve anytime soon. Teresa's feud with her brother and his wife has been a central plot point on RHONJ for over a decade. The siblings had a falling out that stemmed from jealousy. Teresa accused Melissa of being a gold digger and alleged she drove a wedge between her and her brother. Her brother and sister-in-law are teaming up with an enemy of Teresa's for a new business venture. That RHONJOG has a lot of enemies, so keep reading for all the juicy details. The feud between the RHONG stars escalated over the years, with multiple confrontations and accusations played out on the show. Things came to a head when Melissa and Joe didn't attend Teresa's wedding to Louis Rulas. By the time of the RHONJ season 14 premiere, Teresa had officially severed ties with her brother and his wife. Teresa Gudis also found herself in a heated feud with Rachel and John Fuda. The tension began when Teresa publicly accused John of being a drug dealer. This explosive claim led to a war of words between the two couples. Things escalated when John accused Louis Ruelas of hiring a private investigator to dig up dirt on his past. Rachel Fuda fired back at Teresa, calling out her fake friendships with her co-stars. The drama spilled over onto social media, with Teresa publicly slamming Rachel and her husband. According to Mog.com, Joe and Melissa Gorga are partnering with the Fudas for a new business venture. The couples are teaming up for Glam Studios, which provides studio space for entrepreneurs to rent to meet with clients. Despite the animosity, Teresa claimed she initially had no problem with the Fudas and wanted to befriend them. However, the damage was done, and the feud between Teresa Gudis and the Fudas became a central storyline in season 14. At this point, there may not be a season 15 of RHONJ. The show is reportedly on pause while the network figures out who stays and who goes. John Fuda reportedly said they aren't sure if they want to stay in such a toxic environment, especially because of his wife's pregnancy. Jennifer Havener grew up in a small town in upstate New York. She earned her BAA in writing and literature from Naropa University in Boulder, Colorado. She always knew watching reality TV shows and soap operas, particularly Days of Our Lives, would come in handy someday. When she's not writing, she's playing with her dogs, Lola and Ruger Title. A new chapter. The gorgeous venture into business with Teresa's rival in the world of reality television, drama is par for the course, especially when it comes to the Real Housewives of New Jersey. The long-standing feud between the Gorga family and Teresa Gudis has been the stuff of tabloid headlines and heated reunions. But in an unexpected twist, Melissa and Joe Gorga decided to venture into business with one of Teresa's fiercest enemies, creating a stir that left fans buzzing. The backstory of tension between the Gorgas and Teresa has been palpable ever since Melissa joined the cast in season 3. As Teresa's sister-in-law, she found herself embroiled in family conflicts, especially as the show highlighted their differences. Joe Gorga, Melissa's husband, has often found himself caught in the middle, trying to maintain peace while navigating the explosive dynamics of the family. In recent seasons, Teresa's rivalry with former cast member Danielle Staub has been well documented. Their history is fraught with betrayal, accusations, and public confrontations, making it surprising that the Gorgas would consider a partnership with someone who has been a significant thorn in Teresa's side. The proposal of the idea for the business partnership emerged unexpectedly during a dinner party that included several familiar faces from the show. After a few glasses of wine, Danielle pitched the idea of launching a luxury line of event planning services, focusing on extravagant parties and weddings, something she had experience with in the past. Melissa, ever the entrepreneur, saw the potential for success. She believed that combining her creativity with Danielle's connections could create a powerful business. Joe, always supportive of Melissa's ambitions, encouraged her to pursue the opportunity. The couple was already successful with their real estate ventures, but they craved something new, something that could further establish their brand in the entertainment industry. Initial reaction says news of the potential partnership spread, fans and cast members alike, were taken aback. Social media exploded with mixed reactions. Some fans were excited about the prospect, eager to see how the partnership would unfold, 
while others were outraged, accusing Melissa and Joe of betraying Teresa. The dynamic that had been carefully crafted over seasons was about to shift dramatically. Teresa, upon hearing the news, was furious. She took to Instagram, posting a series of cryptic stories that alluded to betrayal and loyalty. Family first, she wrote, and it was clear that she felt Melissa had crossed a line. This only fueled the fire, leading to an inevitable confrontation at the next cast event. The confrontation at the following reunion, the atmosphere was electric. Fans tuned in to witness the showdown. As the cast settled into their seats, Teresa's icy demeanor was palpable. When the topic of Melissa's partnership with Danielle came up, Teresa's reaction was explosive. How could you align yourself with her? Teresa exclaimed, her voice rising. She's been nothing but trouble for our family. Melissa, visibly shaken but determined to stand her ground, responded, I'm not here to be a puppet for you, Teresa. I'm building my own life, my own brand. This is business, not personal. The tension escalated as Joe stepped in, trying to mediate. We're not trying to hurt you, Teresa. This is an opportunity and we're just trying to make the best of it. The argument set the stage for a season filled with intrigue and drama as the Gorgas moved forward with their plans, determined to make their business a success, even if it meant stepping on toes. Launching the business despite the family turmoil, Melissa and Joe pressed on. They organized a launch event for their new business, Gorga and Staub Events, inviting a mix of friends, family, and reality TV personalities. The venue was opulent, adorned with elegant decorations and a guest list, that included some of the biggest names in the industry. As the event unfolded, Danielle's presence was both a blessing and a curse. She brought energy and a level of charisma that drew people in, but her history with Teresa loomed over the celebration like a dark cloud. Despite the tensions, the event was a success, drawing attention and praise from attendees and industry insiders alike. Mixed results as the weeks passed, the business began to gain traction. The Gorgas found themselves in a whirlwind of planning extravagant parties and high-profile events. They quickly established a reputation for creativity and elegance, attracting a clientele eager to experience the opulence that their brand promised. However, the backlash from Teresa's camp was not easy to ignore. Rumors swirled that Teresa was working behind the scenes to sabotage their success, reaching out to clients to dissuade them from working with the Gorgas. The feud escalated, leading to heated exchanges on social media and confrontations at cast events. Turning point just when it seemed that the rivalry was reaching its boiling point, a major event forced the Gorgas and Teresa to reevaluate their feud. When a mutual friend was in need of help for a major charity gala, both parties were contacted to contribute. It was a pivotal moment, a chance to set aside their differences for the greater good. The Gorgas decided to take the plunge, reaching out to Teresa and proposing a collaboration for the charity event. Initially, Teresa was resistant, but the urgency of the situation made her reconsider. In a surprising twist, the two sides agreed to put their differences aside, at least temporarily. The charity event the charity gala was a resounding success, showcasing the talents of both the Gorgas and Teresa. The collaboration was a testament to what could be achieved when personal grievances were set aside for a common cause. The event drew in significant donations and spotlighted the importance of community. As the evening progressed, there were moments of genuine camaraderie, laughter, and even reflection. Melissa and Teresa shared a brief but meaningful conversation about family and the importance of loyalty, hinting that perhaps the walls between them could be lowered. The aftermath in the aftermath of the charity event, the dynamic began to shift. While the Gorgas and Teresa weren't best friends by any means, there was a newfound respect. Teresa publicly acknowledged Melissa's talent and ambition, while Melissa softened her stance, recognizing the complexities of family dynamics. The partnership with Danielle continued to flourish, with the business gaining more visibility and success. The Gorgas had managed to carve out a niche for themselves in a crowded market, all while navigating the stormy waters of reality television drama. Conclusion as the season drew to a close, the Gorgas found themselves in a better place, professionally and personally. They had successfully launched a business that thrived, even in the face of adversity. Their journey was a reminder that in the world of reality TV, 
where personal and professional lives often collide, it's possible to find a balance. For the fans of Art Echon and Jay, the saga of the Gorges and Teresa is far from over, but for now, it seems that the family has taken steps toward a more harmonious existence, one party and one business venture at a time. Whether the drama will return to its former heights remains to be seen, but the Gorges have.